using cold porcelain and I'm going to split this into two pieces so that my light bulbs are the same size. Now putting that aside, I'm going to work with this piece of clay. I'm going to roll it into a ball. I'm also going to take a head pin and cut that in half, making sure to save that piece also. Now I'm going to stick my cold porcelain through the head pin. I'm going to roll it across my table. And then start to pinch the bottom of it to create that light bulb shape. There are different shapes of light bulbs, so pick whichever one you think looks the best. If you want to make it flat so it's better for necklaces or bracelets, you can do that or you can make it 3D like I did. Then I took barrel clasps and took my pliers to undo the loop that was at the top and I pushed that wire through because I wanted that hole so that I can slide it through the head pin. And instead of these clasps, you can also use beads or really anything else that you want. You can also use clay. I use beads later on for my bracelet. So I'm just going to reshape my little light bulb. Now taking the other half of the head pin, I'm going to loop it at the top using my pliers. And do the same steps that we did before. And I'm making one piece to have a loop at the end and the other one to have the head pin because I'm going to dangle two light bulbs together. So in the end I had four light bulbs, two with the loop at the bottom and two with the head pin at the bottom. I let those dry overnight. Once they were dry I painted the top part a dark green and then the light bulb was red and the other one I painted a yellow. Now to add some sparkle to it I painted some glue on it using a little paintbrush and sprinkling my red glitter making sure it's very well coated. Then I tapped it a bit to get the excess glitter off. I pressed the sides together to make sure there was no glitter sort of sticking out looking all weird. Then with the leftover glitter I folded my paper and just placed that back into the container. Now that I have my two light bulbs I'm just going to bend the top parts and connect them together. So I'm going to slant this one way and create a loop. Before I finish and close that off. I'm going to connect it to the earring hook. And I'm going to close that loop now. I'm using flat nose pliers. So I have this. And I'm going to do the same steps to connect both light bulbs together. You can use jump rings if you want them to be a bit more separated or add some beads to it instead of just leaving the light bulbs by themselves. Now for the bracelet, I'm taking two pieces of green wire and I'm also taking a crimp bead. I slid that through one of the pieces and then I'm just going to slide my other wire through the crimp bead. So both of the wires are through the crimp bead. And then I'm just going to flatten or crimp the bead so that both wires are very well stuck together. Then for the shorter end of the wire I'm just going to wrap that around. Use my flat nose pliers just to make sure that no wire is sticking out and might poke me later. So now I have something like this and I'm just going to take a small clipboard or you could use a regular size clipboard and I'm just going to clamp that down on my wire so that it stays put. I'm going to twist these two pieces together. And I'm going to take some of my little light bulbs and slide that through. Then twist the two wires together again. And repeat the process on the top part of the wire. So it's going to be a pattern of sliding a light bulb on the bottom wire, twisting, 
then sliding one on the top wire, twisting, you repeat. I made the light bulbs the exact same way that I made the first light bulb with the head pin and I used a bead instead of a barrel clasp. And if you want, you can make them dangle all from the bottom, which is a lot easier. So once I reach the end of my bracelet, I'm just going to twist one side like I did on the other side of the bracelet and leave one piece of wire for me to loop later on. I'm going to take it out and on one of the sides, I'm just going to place a clasp and loop. Now with the other side, I'm also going to create a loop. I think I've said loop a bunch of times this tutorial. And that's it. You can make yours look a lot neater than mine with the proper techniques for making bracelets and working with wire. But hopefully you guys get the point and it'll help you in some way. If you're going to do the same technique that I did with alternating light bulbs on the bottom and the top, then make sure that at least the top light bulbs are very tight and in place so that when you put it on the light bulbs aren't flopping about and falling upside down. If you wanted to use these same techniques you can make a headband using wire and these light bulbs. You don't just have to use them for jewelry. So hopefully you enjoyed and I'll have another Christmas video up soon. Bye!